In this screencast I'll show you how to implement the error equation for standard editions calibration. So in standard editions calibration we have a calibration curve that doesn't go through the origin but it has an intercept and the unknown concentration for the sample that's being examined by this method is given by the absolute value of the extrapolated x value which is shown here. So the error equation looks a bit like this. The standard error of this extrapolated x value is given by this equation where we've got terms like the standard error of the y estimate, the gradient from the line of best fit, the number of calibration points including the sample data point, uh, the mean value of y and then the, the terms down here again we've got gradient each individual x value minus the mean x value squared and all of those summed up. Uh, the um, standard error of the y estimate is given by the equation shown here. So to see how this is implemented we've got some example xy data. In the x column we've got the spike, so that's the concentration of analyte that's been added to the sample to form a series of standards and then we've got the instrumental response. And we've used an instrument for this example that's got a linear response. So the first step is to use the Linest equation and we have to put in the Y data, X data and then we need to type true, true. That will then calculate the parameters that we need. So because this is an array function we have to highlight the cells to which the values will be read out to. Press F2 control shift and enter. The next step then is to get the sum of xi minus x mean squared. The shortcut for this is simply to say sy of x divided by s slope squared and now we're into looking at these actual concentrations. So xe actually equals c divided by m and now we've got all of the terms that we need to implement this equation here as well. So if you implement all of this correctly, you should get a value of 0 0.078. So you need the right brackets, the right functions in there. But by having this Linest function implemented and using this shortcut, you've now got all of the terms that are needed. In fact, we've also got a count function there to tell us how many data points are in our XY data. Final thing is, this situation is based on a diluted sample, diluted tenfold. So to get the original concentration we have to times this by 10 and we also have to multiply the error by 10 as well. So the, the original sample had 26.9 millimolar of the analyte in and the standard error for that was 0 0.78 millimolar. If you'd like to find out a bit more about errors in calibration methods then you can refer to Miller & Miller Statistics and Chemometrics for Analytical Chemistry.